Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, this is my very first video, so bear with me. Um, we're going to be talking about all things Lug and Vera. And today I want to talk to you guys about kind of introduction about how I got into Vera and Lug and all that kind of stuff and what has brought us here today. <laughs> so um, when I first noticed Vera purses, my mom had a few pieces um, and my older sister did too. And I didn't really, I just kind of dismissed it, you know, like I wasn't interested. They looked kind of like, honestly, purses for older ladies. That's what I thought. So, um, you know, whatever never really crossed my mind. About a year and a half ago, um, I saw one that my mom had and I, I don't know, it just kind of sparked my interest and I was like, oh, that's, you know, kind of pretty. And, um, then when I figured out that they were machine wash washable, I was sold. Uh, I'm very weird about my purses being uh, dirty. Uh, I will never put my purse on the floor, ever. Not even in my own house. <laughs> and um, I remember when I went back to school about 10 years ago, I went back to college and I was in a biology class and we had to swipe something and put it in a Petri dish and see if anything would grow. And so I swiped the bottom of my purse and nothing grew, not one single thing. And I was so proud of that. <laughs> so anyway, um, that was kind of like the big thing that, that got me was that they were machine washable. So um, I actually searched on Google, uh, how old do you have to be to carry a Vera purse? <laughs> and I was about the right age, but as I have found out from other videos and getting into this community, um, any age, they're for any age. Uh, so, um, today I want to talk about the first purse that I ever purchased, which is going to be the little hipster. I was looking for something with a built-in wallet. I wasn't really a big purse person. Um, if I had a purse, I usually left it in the car. I didn't really like to carry purses. I was looking for something small, something with a built-in wallet. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So the very first one that I bought was Midnight Blues. You can see that. It's a real pretty floral pattern. And what really sold me was the inside pattern. I don't know. Hopefully you can see that. Um, you can see that better. Those flowers. I just fell in love with that. So... It has this front zip pocket. It's got a big open slip pocket there. And then it's got four card slots. One of them is clear here for your ID. In the back, it's got a magnetic slip pocket, which is really big and wide. That's usually where I would keep my phone. And then on the inside, it's got a privacy pocket back here. And then that's it. No other slip pockets or anything. Uh, the dimensions on the little hipster is nine and three quarters wide, six and a half inches high, and one and a half inches deep, which is not very, not very deep. Um, the strap, I found that the straps kind of vary depending on the pattern. Um, it probably is dependent on like, you know, when they were made and maybe the different fabrics, but it tend to range between 54 and 55 inches, you know, when they're fully out. And then the drop kind of ranges from 12 to 13 inches. If it's all the way uh, tight, as short as it can go. So this was the first one. Oddly enough, though, this was not the first Vera bag that I carried. The first Vera bag that I carried was Lilac Tapestry. Um, this one, I love the purples and the pinks. And there's some little bit of teal in there, too. 
This one has, I think, just a plain, just says paint, plain purple interior, same magnetic slip pocket on the back, and same, you know, zipper pocket inside. I also have Vava Bloom in the mini hipster. This pattern inside, it's got some pinks and greens. Same uh, pockets and everything. Now this one's coral floral. I really love the inside of this one. And it's a little bit different than the other ones. This one has the front zippered pocket. Same configuration on the inside. This one has a Vera Bradley uh what do you call it thing right here and the other ones didn't also has this kind of pull where other ones had the ribbon pulls and this strap now the straps are normally about an inch wide this one's only about three quarter which you wouldn't think it'd be a big deal but I mean it is kind of a big difference it seems like compared also with this one in the slip pocket on the inside, there's a charger holder and then a hole right there so you can put your phone and charge it in here. And there's also no magnetic closure on this one. So that one's a little bit different. Then we have Vintage Floral. I really love the pattern placement on this. You got that big flower right here. Um, this one is same configuration as the others, although this one does not have a clear view pocket right here. It just has a regular pocket. Um, and it is magnetic back here. Ellie Flowers. I thought this one was pretty with the blues and purples and pinks. Same configuration, no clear pocket there. Magnetic in the back and just a purple interior. Um, now these two are also a little bit different. They feel a little bit different. I'm not sure what the fabric is. It almost feels like it's performance twill, but I'm not sure about that. But this one does have a Vera tag right here. This one's black. Does not have magnetic closure in the back, which I don't really like, but whatever. Same pockets, no clear pocket. And then just, you know, the same uh, privacy pocket in there. This one's the navy blue. And it's the same as the black. It's just navy blue. Same interior. So that's all of my um, little hipsters. I've got eight of them. Honestly, I'm not really sure why because... As my Vera stash has grown, um, I'm finding that I kind of like a little bit of, of a bigger purse. And those are kind of small. But, um, you know, they're still nice. Um, they run about $60 full price. But, you know, I always buy off Macari, Poshmark, eBay, um, Places like that, so I don't ever pay full price for my Vera or my lug. Speaking of lug, um, how I got into lug purses was I watched a lot of Vera Bradley YouTube videos when I first got into this because, you know, I needed to know all the patterns and all the styles and this and that. And I watched a lot of Potato Peach. Shout out to Kelly Florian. Um, and one day she had a lug on her one of her videos, I was like, look, what's this? Oh, it was a Vera Bradley. But I realized that I really like those as well. I really like their feel and their washability and the compartments and, you know, but we'll get into that later. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for now. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hey, comment below. Um, what your first lug was or what your first Vera Bradley was. Um, 
And, you know, any questions about any of these bags or anything, give me a comment. I'll comment back. Um, hit the likes button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe because I'm going to be making more. And, uh, yeah, so see you around.